In this video, I'll show you a step-by-step -step process on creating a letter tracing book so you can start selling it on Amazon KDP. So if you're new to the channel, my name is Sean and I've made well over seven figures from my own Amazon KDP business. And I make these videos so that you can start making money on KDP yourself. And hopefully in the future, when you're ready to scale your business to the next level, then you come back and join my KDP course and mentorship program, which you can find in the link in the description. So a letter tracing workbook is a very profitable book type. As you can see, there are a lot of books that are absolutely crushing it. I got this tool called BookBeam and BookBeam tells me exactly how much uh, these books are making in royalties. So this one is literally doing $4,500 a day. And this one is the 28th best-selling book in the entire you know, bookstore on Amazon. And it's doing $600 per day. So there are a lot of books that are absolutely crushing it. And even this one that only has 19 reviews, it is still doing $6 a day, which means you're making over $180 in a month. And since you can make these books pretty quickly, in my opinion, it's worth going into this niche. So if you look at this book, you can see that the dimensions is 8.5 by 11, which is pretty much the standard size for these kind of books. It has 60 plus pages of tracing, writing, and calling activities uh, for letters A to Z and also numbers 1 to 10. So we probably want to do something similar to this too. If you click on the read sample here and look inside the interior, this is pretty much how it looks. So it is very, very simple. You start from the letter A and then you do B, C, and then you just keep going. All right, so how do you actually make these books? Well, if you're doing it yourself, then Canva is the best option for this. So what you want to do is go to canva.com. You can sign up for free. Then you want to go up here to create a design and you want to click on custom size underneath here. Then as you can see, this book is 8.5 by 11. So you will enter the exact same thing here. Make sure you change the units to inches and we're gonna put 8.5 by 11 and click on create new design. So now that you have your page open, the next thing you have to do is to set up your margins. This is where a lot of people mess up because they don't really know how margins work. So let me show you how that works. So what you want to do is go to this KDP resource page that says set trim size, bleed and margins. I'll leave a link to this page in the description below. And if you scroll down, there is a section that says margin with this information here. So as you can see here for a book that's between 24 to 150 pages, these are the inside gutter margins, outside margins and outside margin with bleed. So these are the numbers that it's given us. And if you're not familiar with what bleed is, bleed is when basically a text or image goes all the way to the end of the page. So as an example, a book like a journal usually have bleed because the lines go all the way to the end. It doesn't stop right before the page ends and have like a little white section. So for these letter tracing books, it's kind of similar to journals. You want the lines to go all the way to the end of the page. So that means you should be using bleed. OK, so we'll be using these information. We have the inside gutter of 0 0.375 inches and a outside margin with bleed of 0 0.375 inches as well. So what you want to do is go back to Canva. As you can see, there is this ruler section here. If you don't have the ruler showing already, then make sure to click on shift plus R and it should bring it up. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on this and we're going to drag it to at least 0.375. It doesn't have to be perfect. In this case, I got it right at 0.375, but try and get it around there. So we're going to try and do the same thing. We're going to get the ruler and try and get close to 0.375. Seems like the closest I can get to is here. So I'm going to keep it here. The next thing you want to do is go to elements, click on shapes. And then you want to move the shape right in here to fit in this square that we just created. What we're going to do next is to click on the square, copy it and paste it. Now you have a duplicate, which we're going to move to the other corner over here. Same thing. We're going to copy another one and we're going to move this all the way to this corner. And we're going to do the last one to this corner. So now we're going to come back and create another line here, right? And now it's a lot easier to know exactly how much space uh, that we need to set here, as well as on the left hand side, we're going to set it right above the square. And now the squares have pretty much done its job so we can go and remove these. So now we have our margin set. So the next thing you want to do is to go back and get another square and you're going to go from one line to the left to the other side over here, bring it all the way to the top. The next thing we want to do is to click on the border style. Make sure it is set as this line right here and click on the color, make it transparent. So now you can see that it is like this. Now let's go back and adjust the border weight to three. So it's a little uh, it's a little thinner here and it looks good. Now let's go to the left hand side, click on text here and let's add a text right here. And for the text, we're going to add a capital A and a small A. 
We're going to move this up here. Let's click on it once again and adjust the size to around, let's do 200, see if that is good. Um, I think that's perfect. So let's set it here. We wanna kind of change the font, so let's see what they have. Uh, I'm gonna do Canva student font. I think it exists. So yeah, Canva student font right here. Looks a little better in my opinion. And we can also adjust the letter spacing. So basically the spacing between the letters uh, by clicking on here and then we can move it to like minus 70 here so that it's uh, closer to each other. Next, we wanna go back to elements and search for arrow lines. Now there are some options here. Let's scroll and find this very normal looking line. And we can go and adjust the angle of this to show people how they would be writing the letter. So something like this. Now next, you wanna do the same thing for this uh, small a, so you can go back and search for curved arrow. So let's select this one and let's turn it around a little bit, bring it around the a, make it smaller like this. And we can actually flip the image so we can flip it vertical. And I'm gonna turn it around a little bit. There we go. I'm gonna copy the arrow. All right, so I have the curved arrow here for the small a, and then I just copied the straight arrow here over to this side. So the last thing we wanna do is to show the steps. So we're gonna go back to text, add a little body of text here, and just put one. So I'm just gonna change the font to Playpen Sans, and let's change the size to 30. I'm gonna copy this five times, and I'll change the other ones to different numbers. So this is gonna be three. All right, so now we have one, two, three, and one, two. So now we have to go and move this to here because this is step number one. This is step number two here. And to write a capital A, the last step, step number three is right here, right? And we're gonna do the same thing for the uncapitalized A. Uh, so we're gonna take number one here to indicate that's step number one and number two here. All right, next, let's try and add some cool illustrations on both sides to fill up these spaces. And we want something that starts with A. So let's do Apple and let's actually type in black and white illustration Apple. So once again, we have a lot of options here. Let's click on this one and we will use this one right here. So just put it here. Next, we're gonna do the same thing, but for ants. All right, so now we have two images on both sides. I'm just gonna get another text here and I'm just gonna put Apple and I will put another one that says ant. And I'm gonna move it right below here. All right, so we're done with the top section. Now we have to actually get the letter tracing section here. So go back to elements and search for a line. And first, let's start with a normal line here. We're gonna get it to the end of the margin and stretch it out all the way. We're gonna do the same thing, but now we're going to do this dotted lines and we're going to stretch it out all the way. We can also adjust the color here. So just click on this uh, dotted line and we can make it lighter or darker. In my case, I think this is a good place to be at. And sorry, let me redo one thing. Uh, so instead of using this line, let's search for traced line here and let's use this line because it's actually better. So we're gonna remove this one we're gonna go back and adjust this all the way to the side. And we don't want it dark like this. So once again, we're just gonna adjust the size, line weight to four. And for the color, let's choose something like this. So now we can copy the lines and then paste it and we can move it down right here in an even space. And repeat the process a couple more times. And there we go. Now we wanna go back to the text and get a text and we're just gonna put A. Let's adjust the text size to 100 and then let's adjust the font to Canva student dotted. So we're gonna move this all the way up here, put it in the corner and we're gonna copy and paste and pretty much put it throughout uh, this line here. All right, so it should look like that. Now we're gonna copy this and we're gonna change this to the small letter A and we're going to do the exact same thing. All right, there we go. And now for the rest of the sections, you can actually copy the entire thing and just paste it. Now, when you're copying, it's actually a good idea to lock the lines so that you don't accidentally click on it and drag it over as well. So by locking it, it's very easy. So now I can copy this, paste it over, drag it down here, and I'll paste it again, and I'll drag it down here. So this is how it should look like. You wanna kind of you know make sure the spacing is good. For the sake of the tutorial, I'm trying to do this as quickly as I can, but for you, you want to spend a little more time making sure all the text is aligned and stuff like that. So that is how you create one page. And from here, you want to do it for the letter B, C, you know, the rest of the alphabet. You can also do the same thing for numbers, which, you know, the competitors are doing as well as you can have multiple pages for one letter. If you want a book that's maybe longer than 
35 pages, right? So to make this book go over 100 pages, you can have multiple pages of the same letter. So let's just say that you finished the entire book. The only thing you have to do is click on share, click on download and change this to PDF print and you can download it. Now, the next thing you want to do is to go and create the book cover. So once again, I'll leave a link to this page, but you want to go to this page and enter your book information. So starting from the binding type, do paperback, interior, do black and white, paper type, we're going to do white paper, reading direction, left to right. Measurement will be in inches. The interior size, we just did 8.5 by 11. And for the page count, let's just say that I created a interior of 100 pages. So we're going to calculate dimensions and we're going to download this template. Now, once you download it, you have three different files. Just click on the PNG one and it'll look like this. And you will see that there are some information here. You want to pay attention to this information here, the overall dimensions. Next, we're going to go back to Canva. We're going to click on create a design. Same thing, go to custom size, change this to inches. And we're going to enter this information right here. So we're going to be entering 17.475 inches to 11.250 inches. Next, go back to the folder that you downloaded the template. Click on the PNG and you want to drag it over to Canva and then just align this to the corner and it should fit perfectly. And we can click on the template here and we can lower the transparency a little bit so we can still kind of see the template, but we can start designing it a little bit easier. So in terms of your cover design, uh, you can essentially do anything. You just want to play around with it and practice designing on Canva. But it's a very good idea to go and model your competitors, not rip them off, but get ideas from them, right? So in this video, we're trying to learn from this one. So let's try and create something similar to this, but in our own version. So this one over here has like the cloud as well as some trees in the bottom. So instead of doing the same kind of trees, let's try and do like a beach. So we're going to go to element and click on sand beach. And let's try and find some free images here. So maybe this one and we can move it down here and uh, stretch it all the way to the right. All right. So next, let's try and get something else for the other sections here. So let's search for beach and sky as an example. And we have this one right here. Let's try and drag it all the way to the edge. All right. So it covered the entire thing. We're just going to move this to the back. So what you want to do is click outside click on position and we're just going to get the sand uh, to come after or before uh, the, the beach pick here. So this is how it looks now. And we also want to move the template above so we can kind of see like where the, the margins are. All right, so that is like our background uh, looks decent so far. So let's go and add our title. So go back to the text, click on add a heading, move it to the right side because this is going to be the front cover. And let's just put 100 days because we have 100 pages. Uh, and then I'm going to do copy and paste the same text box and I'm going to do letter tracing workbook. I'm going to click on the 100 days, highlight it and then make this to 120 as the size. And I'm going to click on the letter tracing workbook and let's just do 75 for this one. And I'm just going to change the font to something like I'm going to search app uh, impact font. So we're going to do that one, same as this one, impact font looks a little better. So it can still look a lot better from here. So let's click on the text again, click on effects, and we're going to change the thickness to let's just do around 100 here. And we're going to change the color of the text to yellow. Maybe a little more of an orangey yellow would work. So I'm just going to change it to that. And I'm going to do the same thing for the letter tracing workbook. So effects outline, let's do around 100. And for the color, we're going to change it to black. And for the text color, uh, we're going to change it to white. All right, so it looks a lot better now. All right, so let's click on the letter tracing once again and kind of touch on the spacing. So click on the spacing here and let's adjust these. Let's change the top to 125 or around there and the bottom to around one. All right, now it looks even better here. All right, so now it looks pretty good. Just going to adjust it a little bit. Now, the next thing we want to do is go back to the interior that we created and we just want to download one page. So click on share, download and just click on page one and then download this as a JPEG. So next you upload that JPEG you just downloaded and then you click on it. So now it's on the Canva page here. Next, we need a frame. So click on elements, uh, look up frame, click on this frame right here and adjust it to the back. Next, click on the image and drag it in the frame. Click on the frame, adjust the border line here. Change the border weight to five, corner rounding to around 20. 
and there we go it looks better now now make sure the frame does not go over the barcode area so you can keep this on the back cover to showcase how your interior looks but i actually want to move this to the front cover to showcase my interior right on the front cover so i'm just going to drag it over right here adjust the size and i'm just going to copy this and paste it two more times and i'm going to rotate one like this and i'm going to move the top one like here and rotate it just a little bit. You kind of want to play around with this, but let's just keep it like this for now. The last thing you can also add the age range. So I'm just going to do circle here, click on shapes, move the circle to the corner. I'm going to change this to yellow. And I basically just added ages two plus here. Now make sure none of the images or text can go over the red lines here because it's going to get cut off. All right, the last thing you want to do once the design is done is once again to click outside, click on position, click on the template element, and you want to delete this. And once you're done, go to share, download, download as PDF print. And it's better if you can do CMYK, but you will need Canva Pro for this. So if you don't have it, you just save it as RGB. Now, this is just an example cover and interior that I whipped up very quickly. So for you, you want to spend more time and make sure it looks better than this. So that is how you create an interior and the book cover for this book. And now the next step is to go and upload it to Amazon KDP. If you want a step-by-step -step tutorial, I actually have a video, this one right here, I'll leave a link in the description below that you can go and follow along step-by-step. So that is how you create these books step by step. But if you think that is way too much and you just rather pay somebody to make these books for you so you don't have to spend any time in making it, then there are actually a lot of services that will do exactly that. So this gig right here on Fiverr will create these kind of books for you for just $15. And if you need more pages, it can go up to $30 or $50. But considering that you're not spending any time, that is actually a pretty good deal. If you guys want to check it out, I'll leave a link to few of these gigs in the description below. And if you guys want to check out my complete publishing program where I help over 1200 people make money with Amazon KDP. Some of our students are doing four, five, or even six figures a month, and they're absolutely crushing it. So if you're interested in learning more about it, then check out the first link in the description below. You'll have to book a call to talk to our team. It is a free discovery call, but if we both find that this is a good fit for you, then you can move forward and be a part of the program. So with that being said, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe if you haven't yet. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.